Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Alex Tech Works. I'm so excited to do this review of the DJI Mini 3 Pro that I've been using for about six months now. I've also got the DJI remote controller to review as well and tell you all about it. So if you're looking for a drone in a, within the thousand pound budget, this video is perfect for you. So stick around to find out what's to come. What would also really help me out is you just smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and follow me on over on Instagram. It's under Alex Tech Works. Anyways, let's get into this video. Right, so before we dive into the details, let's admire the DJI absolute marvel they've put together with this particular drone. The DJI Mini 3 Pro is all about capturing insane quality aerial footage and aerial photos. The remote controller is so easy to use and it helps you with creative movements and those dynamic shots. First things first, the DJI Mini 3 Pro comes in at 249 grams, so that means that it is exempt from certain regulations. It's also an absolute breeze to carry around. Now let's talk flight dynamics. The upgraded motors and advanced stability systems makes the DJI Mini 3 Pro an absolute breeze and it handles like a dream. It's nimble, responsive, and it's stable even during blustery conditions. The Mini 3 Pro's camera is no slouch either. Boosting a high resolution sensor, it can shoot at 4K at 60 frames per second. I was blown away by the detail and color that this particular drone produces. Cinematic shots truly come to life, especially when you shoot in d cine like mode. You can capture even more detail during post-production. Safety is non-negotiable. DJI has covered us with improved obstacle awareness. The Mini 3 Pro can provide forward, downward, and rear-facing obstacle sensors. With these sensors, it's like having a garden angel in the sky so you can tackle even the most complex areas. Now let's talk about the remote controller. It's sleek design, very comfortable to use, all the buttons are all in the right places, and it's your direct link to the DJI uh, Mini 3 Pro itself. The display is incredibly crisp and clear, and it's also touchscreen. So that means you can actively track using the remote controller itself. DJI has packed this remote controller with a whole host of features to really amp up your creativity. These modes feel like you're having an assistant in the palm of your hand to be able to capture some amazing shots and really dial in that particular perspective that you were looking for. The Mini 3 Pro has exciting features including focus track, which includes active track, spotlight, and point of interest modes. These modes give you full control over the shots you're tracking with a particular subject. You can really circulate an object or a point of interest and make sure that you continually get your point in focus and dialed in. And if you're looking to create unbelievable shots with absolute minimal effort, the Master Shots feature is an absolute gem. It automatically plans and executes aerial shots and it creates stunning videos with just a tap of a button. Plus, you can craft amazing time-lapse capabilities with the Mini 3 Pro. Right, so I'm just gonna run through the list of pros with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. So it weighs less than 249 grams, so that means it's ultra portable and exempt from certain regulations. It's exceptional tri-directional obstacle sensing for exceptionally safe flights and complex environments. It's got a high resolution 4K camera that can provide mesmerizing aerial visuals. It's user-friendly and intuitive remote controller. Now this is an optional extra that uh, is well worth paying for. It's intelligent flight modes give you precise control and creative shot planning. It's master shots feature can also provide a really impressive flight dynamics and incredible cinematic like footage. It's seamless time-lapse creation for incredible cinematic like videos. So that's just the list of pros that I really like about the Mini 3 Pro. Right, so I'm just going to give you some cons of the Mini 3 Pro and what I actually don't like about it from personal experience and use. Like I mentioned before, 
yesterday, video quality comes out at 4K 60 frames per second max. Now, if you're looking for to shoot at a higher frame rate, you're gonna have to opt for the DJI Mavic. Other things to note is that the battery life is about 34 minutes. Now, I've been using this for about six months now, and it's safe to say that half an hour of flying will capture everything that I need to. Now, I'm no expert with using drones, and I've never really used it longer than, th than half an hour, but if you do need to change out a battery, the option is there to swap out the battery and go off again. But if you're looking to get a bit longer than 34 minutes on a single flight, you may have to look for a bigger drone. Wrapping things up, the Mini 3 Pro paired with a remote controller can redefine what you can do with aerial cinematography and photography. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, this Dynamic Duo is really powerful in creating some of truly breathtaking aerial footage. Thanks for joining me on this review video today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that's given you a bit of an insight as to what to expect from the DJI Mini 3 Pro drone and remote controller. If this sparked a bit of curiosity, don't forget you can leave some comments down in the description below. It would also really help me out if you hit that subscribe button on my channel and also like this video. You can also catch me over on Instagram at Alex Tech Works, where you'll see some behind the scenes footage and anything else I'm getting up to really. But that's it for me today, I'm signing off and I will see you in the next one. I will catch you later.